how to make a parametric floor accent design in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. First let's copy the two font pattern in the Windows font folder. Leave a comment to download the font pattern. Select the files right click and select copy. Go to local disk C. Expand the Windows folder. Select the fonts folder and paste the file. Next. Open a new family. And select metric generic model. Open. Go to create and select model text. Edit the text and change it to K. OK. Place the model. Select the model text. Go to text and select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Style A. OK. OK. Next. Horizontal align. Select Center. Material. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Finish A. OK. OK. Depth. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Thickness. OK. OK. Go to Edit Type. Text Font. Select the Kufi Pattern. Apply. Text Size. Change it to 2000 mm. And select Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Width. A. OK. OK. Apply. OK. Select a line. Select this reference plane. Select this reference. Lock. Select this reference plane. Lock. Next. Select the pattern. Select copy. Select the pattern. Go to Edit Type. Duplicate. OK. Text Font. Change it to Bigaily Patterns. Text Size. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Width. B. OK. 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 Go to Text and select Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Style B. OK. OK. Material. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Finish B. OK. OK. Next. Go to Family Types. Select the thickness. Select Edit Parameter. Select Instance. OK. Change the width B to 500 mm. And thickness to 10 mm. Apply. OK. Select the pattern. Select Move. Align. Select this reference plane. Select the center reference. Lock. Select the pattern. Select Array or Type AR for shortcut. Select the radial. Change the quantity to 6. Move the blue center point to the center. Start point pick here. 
Go to angle and put 360 degree. Press enter to finish the array. Next. Select the array annotation. Go to label. Add parameter. Name it. Array quantity. OK. Now let's test the parameters. Go to Family Types. Change the Array Quantity to 10. Apply. Change the Width B to 700 mm. And Width A to 2200 mm. Apply. Now let's try to change Style A. And Style B. OK. Apply. Next let's add a materials. Finish A. Go to material browser. Go to home and select AEC materials. Select stone. Then select the marble. And add to project library. Rename the material. OK. Finish B. Go to material browser. Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select Stone. And add to Project Library. Rename the material. Apply. OK. Apply. OK. Select Realistic. Perfect. Next. Save the family. Save into the desktop. Name it. Floor Accent Design. Save the family. Load into project and close. Place the family. Select the floor accent. Offset from host. Change the value to negative 0.01 meter. Let's check. Now the floor accent is flush with the tile. Go to level 1. Select the floor accent. Make a copy. Copy 7 meters to the left. Next. Select this floor accent. Change the thickness to 0.1 meter. Go to 3D. Select join element. Select the floor accent. Then select the floor tile. Select the floor accent. Right click and select hide in view, select element. Now we have a cut out of our floor accent. Go to level 1. Select this floor accent. Select move. Move back the floor accent 7 meters to the right. Go to 3D. Let's check. Perfect. Now let's test the parameters. Go to Edit Type. Let's try to change the style A and style B. Perfect. Let's try to change the width A and width B. Apply. OK. Perfect. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.